everybody in today's video i have a new collection from pepper Pol polish to share with you guys this collection is called the cats and feminism 2.0 collection it's super cute names i like the inspiration um this collection releases on monday march 15th polishes in the collection are 11 dollars a piece or you can get all seven polishes for 70 dollars and save a little bit of money that way um there's seven polishes here there's a lot to talk about so let's get started you guys these are super fun First polish in the collection is called This Kitty's Got Claws. You guys, oh, look at this. Um, this is described as a vibrant neon pink watermelon with rainbow flakies, purple blue iridescent hex, and violet orange green UCC flakies. This color, you guys, I am obsessed with it. It's perfect. The formula is perfect. Two to three coats to get opaque depending on nail length and application, but the coats go on really nice and smooth. There's no streakiness, no patchiness. All the flakies lay out really, really nicely on the nail. Um, my swatch pictures are going to be two coats with a coat of glossy top coat of this. Um, this does dry matte because it is neon, so you do want to put glossy top coat to get it very nice and glossed up. This color, you guys, is so flattering. Um, I was obsessed with this. If you're my skin tone or darker, you guys are going to need this in your life. It's so, so good. Perfect for summer. I want to thank Pepper Pot Polish Maker Mackenzie for getting me my neons in the spring, right? Like, you just can't ever be too early for neons. I cannot wait to wear this polish. Um, let's get into life swatching of this kitty's got claws. So this polish is called Cats Against the Patriarchy, like with a paw, but spelling patriarchy, which is funny. <laughs> um, this is a gorgeous color, you guys. This is described as a blinding neon red with rainbow flakies and violet orange green UCC flakies. Um, to me, this pulled a little bit more orange. Um, it is a red leaning orange. It's very, very bright, super, super neon. I love this one as well. I think that the formula was perfect for a neon. Two to three coats to get opaque depending on nail length. My swatch pictures are two coats with a coat of glossy top coat. This does want to dry matte again because it is neon. You will need glossy top coat if you want it to be glossy. These could be really pretty with a matte top coat though as well. Um, super super fun again just perfect for the summer perfect if you have a tan perfect if you're in the deeper tones um so 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 good you guys completely obsessed with this polish i like i'm obsessed it's love it's true love um so so good so let's get into live swatching of cats against the pot patriarchy This next polish in the collection is called Smash Patriarchy Nap in Sunbeam Repeat. Um, so this is described as a highlighter yellow polish with lime gold iridescent glitter, rainbow flakies, violet orange green UCC flakies. This color, you guys, it's like super highlighter, has a great formula. This one is a three coater, I feel like, on any nail length, but the coats go on really nice and smooth. There's no streakiness, there's no patchiness. All the flakies come out nice and beautiful on this. Um, if you guys are obsessed with neons like I am, I feel like this is another must have from the collection. Um, if you're my skin tone or darker, this really, really pops. Um, I cannot wait to wear this in the summer, you guys. It's really, really beautiful. Um, 
I really just really loved this. These first three polishes in the collection like completely had my heart. So let's get into life swatching of Smash Patriarchy Nap in Sunbeam Repeat. Next polish in the collection is called You Are Perfect The Way You Are. Um, this is described as a blue teal violet UCC flakies, gold micro glitter, rainbow iridescent flakies, black glitter of different sizes. So when I saw this, it said topper to me. So I did not try to get this opaque on its own. Instead, I did a Skittle manicure to see this over some different colors for you guys. Um, I really enjoy this topper. I feel like it's sort of um, everything but the kitchen sink, but like in glitter, which is amazing. <laughs> it had a great glitter payoff. Um, it's not base heavy. And I did a little Skittle manicure, so I wanna just talk about the polishes I put this over. Um, I used LA Colors Black Fury, which isn't the best black, but um, this kind of I felt got swallowed up in black. I preferred it over some of the other colors. That was just, you know, personal preference. Then I used um, French White from Wet n Wild. I did like this over white, I feel like, um, it had some beautiful pop over white. I also used Gimme a Beat from Kiara Sky. This combination was perfection. Um, also from Kiara Sky, I used Be My Kinney. Um, again, perfection. I could see this as a whole manicure and I would be completely obsessed with it. Um, and then I paired it over this Steel Magnolias from Moonshine Manny, which is a really soft, almost like neutrally baby pink. And what surprised me is I, I think this was the combination I enjoyed the most. I feel like um, this is very soft and delicate, but then you get this sort of like really fun and like full of pizzazz topper on top and it was just so good, you guys. So I really like this topper. I think it's super fun if you're a topper person like I am um, or like you want to get some old school indie vibes, this will give it to you. Um, so let's get into life swatching of You're Perfect the Way You Are. Next polish in the collection is called Feminist Meow Nafesto. <laughs> um, this is described as a deep aubergine base filled with metallic purple, bright pink hollow, and silver glitter with contrasting orange red shimmer in some light. Um, this isn't what I was expecting when I got it on the nail, but I really enjoyed it. This is a very um, squishy, and at three coats, you still get a little bit of visible nail line on longer nails. But you get this really beautiful sort of like squishy, glittery effect. I really liked it. I did not mind the visible nail line on this at all. And I'm usually not a visible nail line person. Um, my swatch pictures are three coats. Even at three coats, you do still have a lot of visible nail line. But um, it's just like a really cool look on the nail. I really liked it. If you don't like the visible nail line, you could always put like a similar color purple underneath and wear it more as a topper. But um, look at the swatch pictures and tell me what you think. Because I just feel like it's interesting interesting um and I just thought it looked really cool like I'm excited to try this again I just thought it was super cool on the nail so let's get into life watching of feminist meow nafesto
Next plush in the collection is Feminism is Forever. This is described as a periwinkle blue with silver micro glitter, silver hollow shredded glitter, gold glitter, and contrasting pink shimmer. This is super cool. Um, I really like that you get these shards there. They were a little bit hard for me to um, get on all the nails, but I think if you put it upside down or you put it in a pro shaker, that would definitely help that. Um, this is kind of cool though. I really like this one as well. Has a lot of shimmer, very flattering color. Um, the, uh, red shimmer in the blue is really, really pretty. Um, and let's get into life swatching of Feminism is Forever. Last polish in the collection is Kittens Against Cat Calls. This name, you guys, I love it. I hate when people freaking make you uncomfortable walking around with like cat calls and noises and weird looks and I hate it. So cute name, very, very true. Um, and this is described as a softest of pale pinks with gold micro glitter and silver glitter has a subtle pink orange shimmer um i wasn't sure i was gonna like this but i thought it was really pretty it's very neutral but it has all this really beautiful shimmer i think this would be really beautiful like with some nail art or like a topper on top if you don't like this just very simple look but if you have like a job where you can't wear a lot of really um in your face polish or you're looking for something to wear for like a wedding um Something where you want your nails to be really subtle, this gives you that, but then you get some really beautiful bling. I actually enjoyed this quite a bit. I thought it was really nice on my skin tone as well, which I was kind of worried about. Great formula on this one as well. It is three coats to get opaque, but the okay, but the coats go on really nice and smooth. Um, there is a touch of visible nail line, but it's not um, like really, really extreme. And I think it kind of goes with the look of the polish, the very subtle and ethereal and pretty. So let's get into eye swatching of Kittens Against Cat Calls. So that is it for this collection from Pepper Pot. Um, favorites of the collection. I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go for three. Um, I'm gonna go for four. I'm gonna include the topper. Um, so I'm going to go with Smash Patriarchy Nap and Sunbeam and Rest, which is oops, which is the yellow. I'm also gonna go with Cats Against the Patriarchy, which is the orangey red, and this kitty's got claws, which is the pink. Um, and then you, of course, have this topper. You are perfect the way you are. I actually want to try topping the topper over these polishes to see what I think as well. I should have done a swatch picture, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, more than half the collection is a favorite for me. Super, super fun. I like the theme. I am a feminist. I believe in feminism. And um, I thought the names were really, really cute. So let me know if anything caught your attention. Did you pick any of this up? Because I feel like I will be putting this video out after this has released. Um, let let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this collection have you tried pepper pot polish before um and that is it for this video you guys if you liked it please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and thanks you guys for watching i will see you on the next video i hope you're having an amazing day bye